Mastering reported speech through dialogues and conversations. Hello, language learners. Welcome to another session of Intermediate English Grammar where we are focusing on the fascinating world of reported speech. Today, we are going to dive deep into dialogues and conversations as effective tools to learn and practice reported speech. So, let's jump right in. Before we delve into dialogues, let's quickly review what reported speech is. Reported speech, also known as indirect speech, is when we tell someone what another person said. It's not a direct quote, but a report. For example, if your friend, Bob, says, I am happy, you could tell someone else, Bob said that he was happy. This is an example of reported speech. We usually change the tenses and pronouns in reported speech to match the perspective of the speaker. Now, you might be wondering why we are emphasizing on dialogues and conversations. The reason is simple. In real-life situations, we often use reported speech to relate what someone has said in a conversation. Dialogues and conversations provide a practical and engaging context for practicing reported speech. Let's start with a simple conversation. Person A. I am feeling tired. Person B. I'm going to the store later. Now, let's put this into reported speech. Person A said that he was feeling tired. Person B said that she was going to the store later. See how the tense is shifted. Am becomes was and going becomes was going. That's reported speech in action. Now it's your turn. Here's a new dialogue. Try to convert it to reported speech. Person C. I love ice cream. Person D. We've been to the new museum. Take your time. We'll review the answers in the next video. And there you have it. By incorporating dialogues and conversations into your study, you can practice reported speech in a fun and engaging way. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep practicing and you'll master reported speech in no time. See you in the next lesson.